Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. Uh, my right honourable friend has delivered for our armed forces today, and he deserves the uh, support uh, of the whole House, yeah. and particularly as he uh, seeks to improve the procurement mechanisms of the Ministry of Defence as well. Will he bear in mind the wise words of General Mattis, the former American Defence Secretary, who told Donald Trump, and I quote, the more you cut aid, the more I have to spend on ammunition. Britain's development leadership and the standing by our promise to the poorest of the 0.7, which was a manifesto commitment, will stand, my right honourable friend, in very good stead as he assumes the chairmanship of the G7 on January the 1st and promotes the important values of global Britain. Prime Minister. Well, I'm, I'm grateful for uh, my right honourable friend's uh, points, and he himself has done extraordinary work to champion the poorest and neediest around the world. And uh, I think that uh, this country, as I say, can be very proud of our record in, uh, in uh, overseas aid. And we lead the world, will continue to lead the world uh, under this government. Uh, what I can say is that this review uh, is about, uh, this statement is about our defence and our security. And uh, it, there's no read across to uh, any other issue. And this is driven by our need to protect uh, the British public to keep the world uh, as safe as we as we possibly can, and to unite and level up across our union uh, with 40,000 more jobs. 